everyone so today is 29th december friday and it is currently 5 24 am and this is my to-do list for today so right now i'll place a timer of 1 hour 30 minutes so this timer will end at 6 54 am so yeah let's start doing mathematics now So this video is of today morning and here I was practicing the questions of the chapter linear equations into variables and I was practicing it from the book of R.S. Agarwal as I'm already done with the NCRT. So basically I am done with most of the questions from this book but I'm still left with I think around 10 to 15 questions which will be done in the study session of the evening. After that Today itself, I will start doing the case-based questions. I will not start the quadratic equation while a chapter. I'll do it tomorrow. So today, I do have some time to do the case-based questions. So I will most probably practice the PYQs of 2023. And if I still have more time, I will also practice a few questions from the website of the CBSE. And I have to focus on my silly mistakes also because I've been making them a lot recently. So yeah, like... The next time I start solving word problems, my main focus is going to be on silly mistakes because those are just ruining my time, my effort and everything. So my winter vacations are currently going on and my pre-boards are from 9th January. So I'm quite excited and a little nervous, you know, because I want to see the progress that I've done. So let's see how the pre-boards go. It's currently 6.55. Right now I'll take a break of 15 minutes. So this timer will end at 7.10 a.m. So from 7.10 onwards, I will start practicing maths again for 1 hour 30 minutes. Currently 7.11 a.m. Right now I'll place the timer of 1 hour 30 minutes. So this timer will end at 8.41 a.m. So yeah, let's start practicing maths again. So as we all know that the COVID cases are rising again. So everyone, please make sure that you stay safe. And Corona is literally the thing that I hate the most because in the year 2020 to 2021, it just destroyed the peace of the world and it's coming back. So hopefully it will not hit that bad because we all are vaccinated right now, but still stay safe. When the disease hit for the first time and the board exams were cancelled, my brother was also in that batch and he was very depressed about it. Like I saw him at that point because all his hard work went in vain. Like he was very hopeful about the board examinations that maybe they will take place, but they did not, unfortunately. So I'm very, very thankful that our exams are not cancelled and another batch will not have to go through that same pain by the way hopefully my maths and my science syllabus will be done by this week and from the next week onwards like from tuesday or wednesday i will start solving the sample papers so yeah i'm quite excited for that by the way a lot of you are done with your pre-boards right so how did they go like how did your examination went how was the question paper and all do let me know 8 45 a.m and i'm done with my maths work for today so right now i'll go downstairs i'll have my breakfast after that i'll come back and start studying physics So it is currently 11.30 am and I know I did get a little late. So right now I'll start revising the chapter electricity for one hour. So let's place a timer of one hour. This timer will end at 12.30 pm. So yeah, let's start revising electricity. So firstly, I watched a 30 minute video at like 1.5x speed and this video was by Rakshak sir from the channel of Physics Wala. 
and it's been a while since i have solved the numericals of this chapter so let's see how my calculation practice is and also hopefully the theory revision of this chapter will be done by today evening and then i will also solve a few previous year questions of science because i have solved example problems and ncrt problems but i haven't like started solving the pyqs so i will solve a pyqs today as well so i actually like this chapter a lot and it is going to get repeated in 12th grade which i'm very excited about and i know this is going to be way harder than what we are currently reading but still like i'm quite excited to learn a lot more about this chapter even though i know i'm going to be stressed out and burnt out 24/7 but still we can learn something new right and even the chapter of light like i think 12th grade has a chapter like ray optics so in that chapter it is going to be in much more detail and i also got a little introduction from the other family members so i'm very excited to go to 12th grade and 11th grade obviously both currently 12:36 and i am done with my science work for today so right now i will take a break of 15 minutes so this timer will end at 12:51 pm so from 12:51 onwards i will practice the map of history and geography So before moving into today's video I wanted to talk about this amazing book by Oswald Books which is the last minute preparation system Now as we all know that the boards are arriving very soon and the pre boards are either here or knocking on the door and we have very few gap days in between our exams and in those gap days it is impossible to read the ncrt from scratch again right but we also have to revise every single concept and topic of the ncrt thoroughly and efficiently So at this crucial period of time this book is going to be our savior because this is the perfect book for your last minute preparation during your boards or pre boards now before we dig in to the contents of this book i want to tell you that this book is at a 75% discount today and you will get the link to buy this book in the description box below so make sure you buy it from there so now let's dig in to see the contents of the book So firstly we are provided with a few strategies regarding how we can make our preparation better. So the book includes the additional sample papers which were released by the CBSE this year. Also topic wise notes of every single subject, mind maps and mnemonics and also videos for visual learning. For example, these are the notes of English and here you can see we also have tips regarding how we are supposed to approach a question, write an answer and use our time efficiently without wasting it. and this book contains the notes of grammar writing section and reading section according to the latest cbse syllabus which is literally the best thing out there because not every book has it and here you can see that we are also provided with mind maps which are going to be very useful for us when we have very short period of time like around half an hour or one hour before the exams but we also want to recall our topic efficiently so these are going to be very helpful at that period and the same pattern continues for subject like social science science and maths so this book is a complete package for your last minute preparation during boards or pre boards and these are the notes of the first chapter of history here you can see we have key terms key dates because we might not have enough time to look after the ncrt again and again for dates right and we also have some key facts and this barcode is going to be very helpful for visual learning because this leads us to a video where we can watch the chapter once again this book is going to save us a lot of time because all the topics are very concisely but efficiently mentioned in this book so if you want to buy this book too make sure that you buy it from the link in the description box below for a discounted price today as it is available at flat 75% off today currently 1253 and right now i will start plotting the map and i will do it for like 50 minutes so let's place a timer of 50 minutes This timer will end at one forty-three p.m. So yeah, let's start doing SST. So here I was again practicing the map pointings of geography and history, and again I was watching the video of the Grad Sir and the chapter of minerals and energy resources have like 
so many map pointings so i'll have to keep on practicing them in order to learn them properly otherwise i'll just forget about all of it so yeah in the next few days i will practice them thoroughly so that i have a good hold of of the maps and whatever place comes on the exam i'll be able to point it perfectly and after watching his video i also looked up on the map pointings of the ncert geography book both are same definitely but still i had to you know just to get a broader idea i looked up on the ncert also early morning study has a lot of benefits because you see the first thing that you do after waking up is study so you have your full concentration you're not stressed out about anything you don't have any other work to do so it's actually pretty good I'm done with all my tasks for today so this video will be continued because i will also study in the evening so yeah a part 2 of this video will be coming soon which is going to be my evening study routine so stay tuned for that it will come up tomorrow so this was today's video and this video will be posted today itself so i hope you like that video also and i hope you liked this video also if you did then do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i will see you in my next video tomorrow which is going to be of today's evening so yeah that's it bye